But I know I'm going to be there as a rookie. So, you know, I'm going to just have that dominant mentality. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to compete each and every day, uh, no matter what the circumstances are. Uh, but aside from a wide receiver standpoint, you know, uh, I was a fourth stage special teams player. I was a starting gunner uh, on punt. I was starting mm-hmm. corner on punt return. Uh, I, I've had a return experience in my years. And I also had uh, experience on the kickoff side of things. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. We're, yeah, Talk we're, yourself yeah, up then. Yeah, we're looking forward. What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Will Cowboys fans stand up? And, yo, today I want to take a look at Jalen Brooks. Now, I got to apologize to y'all because y'all know on this channel, you know, during the draft and post-draft, we broke down every Dallas Cowboys player. I thought we dropped a film session on Jalen Brooks. I looked in my library. I didn't upload it. I didn't make it public. My bad, not y'all fault. But what I want to do is go ahead and take a look at Jalen Brooks. Now, Jalen Brooks is a wide receiver out of South Carolina. He's about 6'1", almost 6'2", around 202 pounds, give or take. Um, has great long arms, so great size as far as a wide receiver is concerned. Now, I think the reason why he slid to the seventh round, to be honest with you, he wasn't very productive his senior year at uh, South Carolina, I think he had like 500 yards to give or take. So he wasn't very highly productive. But when you look at the skill set, he definitely has it all there. So what I want to do is go kind of look at some glimpses of what he did in college, but most importantly, look at what he's doing at camp. So let's go ahead and get into this film session right here. You'll see him lined up below. And this is the thing that really jumped off the screen when you watched him is he has that vertical attack. So he has a good release able to come off the line of scrimmage. Now, he's not extremely explosive, but he's quick, y'all. He's not a speed guy. Right? I think he ran like a 4, 5, 4, 6, give or take. But if you want him to go run a 9 route and just stack a cornerback, he can do that a lot. And what you'll see here in this film session, an incredible one-handed catch, highlight, highlight real catch right there. Big play from Jalen Brooks, man. Big, big, big play from Jalen Brooks. And we'll watch again from this angle. But like I said, you know, when you watch him, he's not a speed guy. He's not a speed demon, but he's able to stack the cornerbacks and go out and make a play. Man, that's a big play. That's a big, that's. What a money resign. What a money yeah. resign. What a money resign. What a money resign. That's how you get your name called in the NFL. Going downfield and making big catches like this. Boom. Concentration. Boom. But like I said, I think the knock on him, he just didn't put up any godly numbers. I think he had like two touchdowns in his career at South Carolina. He's a Division II transfer as well over into the SEC. So I think he kind of got lost in the shuffle. But this is a testament to Will McClay and their scouting staff to find this caliber of player because he's going crazy right now at camp. So on this play right here, he's going to run this inside dig route. Boom. Good plant. It's catching traffic. And you'll see this route a lot, a lot in this Mike McCarthy text coast offense. This is going to be a very important route when it comes to this inside dig. If you went through some of our videos when we talked about some of the concepts, very important route, secure the catch. On this play right here, even though the ball is kind of overthrown, I just want to show the ability to once again stack the cornerbacks. Like if you give him one on one coverage and tell him to go, he can definitely go. Now, this was overthrown. But Dak Prescott ain't going to be overthrowing like that. You know what I'm saying? So it shows that, like I said, he's not the most explosive off the line of scrimmage. But when he has that second gear, he can go. I mean, he's very Michael Gallup-ish, if we're being honest, right? But he can definitely just, once he gets in motion, that second gear, boom, right there. Now it's off to the races. And he has very long arms, once again, in just long strides. That was a horrible overthrow. But let's get to camp, man. This is what he's doing in camp. We don't care about what you did at college. What are you doing right now? And so right now, you'll see him lined up versus one of our steals of last year's class and Deron Bland. And boom, once again, off the release. Stacked right there. He's striding. Securing the catch. 
And the reason why I played that clip, salute to the draft show, our girl Aisha Morrison, right? She was talking about how he prides himself on special teams. And if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan, you know how important that is to Mike McCarthy. So if you're a seventh round pick, just trying to make your name, these plays like this will help. But also being, you know, sound on special teams and being versatile and open to it it's definitely going to get you a job for the Dallas Cowboys. But once again, like I said, this is Deron Bland. This is no slouch. And stride for stride, he's off to the races. Having a phenomenal camp right now. And let's play right here. This is worse versus one of my other sleepers that the Cowboys drafted. Man, the scout team, like I said, thus far, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, man. My, my cousin, Eric Scott. Uh, but that's right now. Just watch his release. Like I zoomed in on this, but watch his release. Watch his step, right? And sometimes with these hop steps, think of it as like you're a basketball player. And you're trying to set up an Allen Iverson crossover, right? So good base, good hips. Because you want to sell the outside and be able to shift back inside. And even with Eric Scott kind of draped over him. Secures the catch. Gets his feet in bounds. Like I said, y'all, this kid is having a camp. Now, I talked about another wide receiver, Jalen Marino. I know it's not a talk about Simi Fioko. If I had to just kind of tell y'all right now, as far as my depth chart is concerned, Jalen Brooks would be our wide receiver six as of right now. And I think the special teams is really going to help him. He is having a much better camp than Simi. Now, Simi isn't having a bad camp, but Jalen Brooks is stacking days upon days upon days with making plays like this. It's constant, constant. The entire time I was out there, just constant playmaking. And once again, you'll see him lined up. Look at the release. Separation. And he can play against physical man press, right? He can play against physical man press. He, I mean, even though he's like two, 205, whatever, you know, he's physical at the line of scrimmage. So, you know, you can't really bump him that well. And so he's able to get his hands off and goes up and makes, has very soft hands to secure the catch. Like, this is going to be a guy that a lot of Cowboys fans should be excited to see not only Saturday, but if I had to guess y'all, I think he's going to be, you know, getting a lot of reps throughout the preseason. And also I think he's going to make the 53 as of right now. If I had to vote and put my money somewhere, I would put on Jalen Brooks making the final 53 roster. Let's play right here. Just once again, right. He's getting pressed a little bit. I think this is nation. Can't tell just some of the size looks like it is. But look at the cuts, the plants. Look at that. Look at that. Sharp cuts, y'all. Sharp. And that was one of the knocks on him as well in the draft is that he was very limited with his route tree. But that's the thing, man. Just all season work can get you right. Now, this isn't a complete route tree, but it shows how he's able to clear himself up outside that plant. Boom. Inside. Got him. Watch that again. That's kind of I like that one. I like this one. This is battling, 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 battling. It's the physical man. Touchdown, Jalen Brooks. And this is versus the $100 million man in Trayvon Diggs, right? So this ain't no slouches. This ain't me out there at camp. You know what I'm saying? This is that, 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 that fade route in the end zone, red zone fade, right? Boom. Goes up, locates the ball, feet inbounds to perfection. And that's versus Trayvon Diggs. Boom. Great catch there from Jalen Brooks, man. So this is a kid I'm excited about. You should be as well. Like I said, the wide receiver room, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of unknown guys, and they are starting to really evolve in this West Coast, Texas Coast offense under Mike McCarthy. So we're going to have to keep our eyes on a Saturday and throughout camp and preseason. There's going to be a lot of guys getting their opportunity. But I would tell you guys right now, Jalen Brooks is a name you definitely want to circle because I had if I had my I had to trust my gut and y'all know how I do. I would say this kid is on the final 53 roster, man. So it's your boy J Tuck. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on all social media platforms at JTuck151. CFO Sports Talk for the new merch. Use the code CFO Gain to get 10% off, man. I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged. And Jalen Brooks, he's balling out. Peace.